God bless. Same to you. Today's a scorching day. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Henry, get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? I was sweating in the forage all day yesterday, and then I was helping Fritz and Matthew with some errands. So I'd say I have a right to be a bit tired. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand and that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. No, it's just... Matthias was teaching me archery. Archery? Do you want to become a poacher? Have you any idea of the punishment for that? And where did you get a bow, anyway? Oh, come on. I've no interest in poaching. It's just a bit of fun. Oh, Christ, give me strength. Just don't do anything stupid. For the love of God. Promise. I promise. Come here, I need your help. Are you deaf? I said I need help. At least you're up. That's a start. Anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. 
Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? That drunkard? <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure I'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzig, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and grip. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Oh, I'll have to go. I'll be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. 
I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. I must have misheard you. It sounded like you just told me to clear off. But you wouldn't be stupid enough to think you can steal, not pay your debts, and then try to scare me. Would you? You son of a whore. How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. I feel quite hungry. 